Oh my god, we're gonna get Joel. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! I swear. Ellie doesn't like those words. Let her go. I can't let you leave. Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Today we are back with some Last of Us 2. As promised, I took some notes regarding the last episode, episode 9 of our playthrough. I took some notes because I had a lot to say and um, well, it ended up being like three pages of notes and to be honest, I don't really want to sit here <laughs> and talk for like 35 40 minutes before playing uh i don't think i don't think i can stand that i i have to i, I i'm too excited to play today and to see what where we're gonna be with love and abby it's usually i like talking but today i'm too excited to do that um we're also wearing a little augmented version as we as we do of our ellie cosplay the tattoo's fading right there um, because I have oily elbows and oil and eyeliner just don't work. So I did black eyeliner and then I powdered it and then I sprayed it with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray, which is essentially kind of like fancy hairspray. And then I powdered it again. Um, and I thought that would help. I thought that that would get rid of the inner elbow grease and I thought that would keep this part of the tattoo intact. I was wrong. I was wrong, it's fading. And that's okay though. Like we still have the tattoo on mostly. And we have the Dina bracelet and I put like, kind of like that that scratch that Ellie has right here. Ellie has dark circles, so I wanted to do that on this side of my face. I know I look kind of fucked. I promise you, this is just this is just an augmented version of our Ellie cosplay. If you want to see like the real deal, you can go over to our Instagram and take a look at some of our like more official cosplay pictures that we did. But I just thought it'd be kind of cool to sit down and play today like in Ellie's kind of outfit and Ellie sort of spirit. <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I, my, my brain is all over the place today. I can barely like string together like a coherent thought in my head, let alone, let alone say it out loud. This bodes well for this episode. I'm sure our commentary won't have a single stutter in it at all. Anywho, um, one more thing before we get started with today's episode, I'm gonna give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to The Walking David for deciding to become a patron of the channel. Walking David, it really means a lot to me that you like the episodes that we do. Well, maybe you don't like The Last of Us episodes, but maybe you like something else. <laughs> I, God, I hope you like something else. I'm sure you like something else if you decide to become a patron, whether it's the cosplays or the streams or the games or whatever crazy or randomness that we're doing. I'm glad that you <laughs> seem to be enjoying it, my dude. Thank you so much for supporting the content so that it can continue to do more random things <laughs> and get distracted. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope to get to know you a little bit more. And uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, you guys ready? Let's get into the episode. <laughs> All right, y'all, so after editing this episode, I realized that I would, in fact, actually like to read you out loud my notes for episode nine because I think it's actually really relevant to the end of the series, the end of this game. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna read them out loud to you. Um, it turns out it's actually six pages of notes. It was three pages in my notes app, but in a Google Doc, it's like six pages. So buckle up, let's get ready. If you wanna skip this, you can, but I think it's actually really relevant to this episode. Let's start with Yara, my feelings about Yara. I really feel like Yara's death was pointless. Levitt just lost his mom. Did the poor boy really require more trauma? Uh, it feels like Naughty Dog would rather kill off characters, characters that even have potential, just so that they can avoid having two companions slash allies for your playable character in gameplay. Like, what do they have against that? What is so wrong with two allies during combat? Why do they seem to avoid it so often? It's like they want you to prevent you from feeling too safe or too secure or too capable because you have too many allies. Because instead, they want you to feel isolated and scared and dreading what's about to pop out and jump scare you next. And I, I resent it. <laughs> On a more serious note, I really wish Yara hadn't died because I really liked her. She was fiercely protective over Lev, but seemed like a genuinely caring person, which is kind of rare for this game's universe. Speaking of liking a character, I really like Jesse too. He was one of this game's like only sense of levity and humor. He was a chill out going guy. A ray of sunshine compared to pretty much everyone else in this fucking game. Hi Thor. <laughs> Hi. I think Naughty Dog could have made Jesse a companion for Ellie longer than they ended up doing before killing him, or they just could have I don't know, radical idea here, not killed him. Anyway, I feel both 
Yara and Jesse had potential as great characters, not only in this game, but even in a possible sequel if there were one. They could have been so much more than this story's cannon fodder, but then again, I suppose you could say the same thing about some of the characters in the last game, like Tess, Sam, Henry, Marlene, Joel. <laughs> but I just feel like there's more unnecessary death in this game than the last one. In Last of Us 1, every death seemed to serve a very specific purpose, and in this game, it feels a little more needless, a little more excessive, but that just might be me being more sensitive to an excess of death since Red Dead Redemption 2, I don't know. Um, another thing about Yara's loss of living uh, <laughs> is that her death made essentially an entire episode that we played with Abby just kind of pointless. Like, it would have been so much easier to have homegirl just die of compartment syndrome than having to spend two hours getting her some stupid-ass medical supplies so she doesn't die, but then, like, 40 minutes later, she dies anyway. I don't know, but something about that just kind of rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> it just seems, uh, like, wasteful of a good and pretty endearing character. But, you know what? Maybe that's the point Naughty Dog is trying to really hammer home here. Hammer. Hammer, get it? Rest in peace, Yara's arm. Is that death is just wasteful in of itself. It's a waste of a human's life. Their potential experiences and growth or stories, you know. But damn, it's just, it's just kind of depressing, isn't it? And all of this has this, like, weird effect of making me think that her death was just kind of for funsies. And that the entire section of us trying to rescue her was, like, kind of filler. Like a dev went, oh shit, we gotta add two more hours to Abby's story before she meets Ellie in the theater. What can we do? Let me think, what can we do here? And then this was the result. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm being probably like a little bit picky, but I liked her, and as soon as she was introduced, she was gone. That being said, I actually did really enjoy the section that we played that is kind of filler where we're getting her medical supplies. We ended up getting a, like a really cool boss fight. We got a great set piece with the bridges. We really bonded with Lev, and all of that was important but it still, at the end of the day, kind of feels like a little bit like filler. And it wouldn't have been filler if she hadn't have fucking died. But you know what? I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna fucking move on. I'm getting sidetracked. So moving on to Owen and Mel. Um, finding their bodies at the aquarium was painful. I didn't realize that the last time we would see Owen and Mel, uh, you know, alive, was when we fight with Mel, and then Abby cries, and we snap at Owen, telling him that he's, he's gonna stay with Mel at the aquarium rather than accompany us going after Lev. And my interpretation of this was that we, we being Abby and me, uh, we thought that we were doing what's best for him. We thought we were doing what's best for Owen and his relationship and his safety, which was staying with Mel at the aquarium. But little did we know that we were actually signing his death sentence by not having him come with us and Yara to the island. Uh, the entire thing just, like, gives me Cedric Diggory vibes, you know? Like, if Harry had let Cedric just get slurped up by the bushes and weeds or whatever it was in the Triwizard Tournament's maze hedges, Cedric wouldn't have been killed by Lord Voldemort slash Ellie, you feel? I don't know if that makes any fucking sense, but we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> this game constantly just bashes me over the head with the sentiment of, if only we had made a slightly different decision, all of this death could have been avoided. You know, they just constantly clobber me over the head with that one. Um, Tommy. Okay, so this one is super long. Just, just bear with me here. I make a point at some point. It's kind of an incoherent mess, but let's just, let's just chat about it, shall we? So clearly Tommy's changed, not really for the better. I find it fascinating that it wasn't Joel's death solely that completely changed Tommy's disposition, and then it appears to be uh, a few things that I will expand upon later. It appears to be Jesse's death coupled with what I think is Tommy losing his perceived value slash usefulness slash protector role within his remaining family members and community because he lost his eye, which affects his shooting, sniping, hunting skills, hunting for food or for people, and his ability to run slash walk effectively is also impacted. So his basic day-to-day -day functioning is more limited than it ever used to be, and now as a result, he also can't be as badass of a leader as he once was. That sounds like a hit to one's self-esteem if I've ever heard one. I don't think the members of Jackson, including Maria, would give him too much shit for his injuries and his likely now changed uh, attitude and role within the community. He's probably not doing patrols anymore. He's probably uh, has a different role job that he thinks is inferior or less beneficial to the community than his previous fighter slash protector role. You know, I feel like everyone kind of understand that Tommy did what he felt like he had to do, which, which, which was get justice for his brother. So it's not the people in Jackson. It's not even really Maria. It's not Ellie or Dina. It, 
that blames him for any part of this whole mess. I think it's all him. I think it's all self-inflicted. I think Tommy blames himself for his own injuries that prevent him from being who he used to be. I think he blames himself for Jesse's death when they were just a few hours from heading home. Uh, perhaps Tommy also blames himself for Ellie and Dina almost fucking dying after the fight with Abby. And above all else, I think he still blames himself for what happened to Joel. Tommy got knocked out and couldn't stop his brother from being tortured and murdered all alone. I think Tommy could have eventually healed from the survivor's guilt of the entire situation with Joel, but he is clearly overwhelmed with the guilt for the unintended and unforeseen consequences of going after Abby. He thought he was going after her by himself, not putting anyone else at risk, really. I'm pretty sure he fucking told Maria to like lock Ellie up so that she wouldn't go. Uh, so I don't think he quite <laughs> thought out uh, that Ellie would track him down, trace his footsteps and whereabouts. And I definitely don't think that he realized that Dina would follow Ellie and that Jesse would follow both of them and that all of these people would now be at risk. Granted, Tommy knew Ellie well enough to probably know that she'd go after Abby even if Tommy wasn't involved but that's not really the point I'm trying to make. If it was just Joel that he had lost, Tommy would have gotten through it. But he's lost Joel. He's lost a kid that he was responsible for. His relationship with his niece is crumbling. Both his niece and her girlfriend were seriously injured while he was knocked out. I mean, he probably feels fucking useless because he keeps getting knocked out while bad things happen to his loved ones while he's fucking unconscious. And on top of all of that, he's lost his sense of self, his identity, his self-esteem, his self-efficacy. And now he's lost his fucking longtime girlfriend. Like, literally fucking kill me now. Like, I wonder if one of the reasons his relationship with Maria fell to pieces was because he felt like he could no longer protect her and in his mind, couldn't be a good partner for her. In an apocalypse, even in safer communities like Jackson, I'm sure that relationships with big, muscly, capable, sniping baddies like Tommy would be a plus, you know, a survival advantage for sure. He might feel like he can no longer be a provider and can no longer bring things to the relationship that he used to be able to bring. Now, I feel like Maria wouldn't want to break up with Tommy just because of his injuries and his now kind of changed attitude and outlook on life. I feel like she wouldn't really care about this because she cares about him, right? But Tommy would. Tommy would care about this. He and Joel are baddies, but I think they're pretty prideful ones at that. Anyway, back to Maria. I would imagine he'd also snapped at her a time or two um, after he got back or a few hundred times out of frustration for not being the asset to Jackson that he had been an asset for for so long. He, he helped build Jackson, right? I imagine that he was in recovery for a while, uh, confined to the bed even. And even after the majority of his healing had probably occurred, his body, pride, and his life would never be the same. And in my mind, that would take a tremendous toll on anyone's overall outlook on life, including patience, <laughs> how much patience you have. Uh, and patience is something that comes up quite often in relationships. I'd say it's pretty necessary for relationships to survive. This could be another factor that contributes to him and Maria splitting up, especially if you were to add in Maria's perspective to the mix, which very likely could have been along the lines of, he wouldn't have been like this if he hadn't left, or if I had stopped him, he wouldn't have gotten injured and then he wouldn't be like this or you know there's, there's probably there's probably part of her that blamed herself for the way that tommy is now is yeah so that brings us to possible trust issues between the two of them because tommy went hunting after abby without telling her at the beginning of the game so while it totally makes sense that tommy and marie would split up it still makes me hurt because i feel like this man got nothing left to live for which is probably a good explanation as to why he's fixating on abby's whereabouts in california and why his feathers are so ruffled when ellie initially says that she's not really about that life anymore etc uh, Tommy's life at this point in the story lacks any sense of stability, familiarity, control. Fixating on Abby and the thought of chasing after her probably is the only thing that gives him any semblance of control, satisfaction, and peace. I'm thinking that Ellie feels similarly. What especially sucks is that Tommy was around-ish, sort of, for when Joel was going through some of his toughest periods. Even if the two weren't always together, and even if the two weren't on super great terms, like when they reunited in the first game, I believe, Joel still knew that he had family out there. He still knew Tommy was out there, and that if he ever needed him, he could go find him. 
So Tommy was around for Joel, but what's devastating is that Joel is no longer here to see Tommy through arguably one of the worst periods of his life. I can't imagine what it would be like to feel like you have absolutely no one left. Almost no reasons to keep living and fighting to see another day. Like Joel had Ellie. He found meaning and love and purpose once again in being a father. Well, until their fights anyway. <laughs> and now all Tommy has is the thought of justice and revenge to keep him going. That is enough to make a girl cry. That is enough to break my poor little heart again. I think Tommy's guilt and probably how stir crazy he feels because of his injuries and his itch to be as active and sharp as he once was before those injuries, I think his pain and perhaps a smidgen of brain damage has made him harder and meaner than he used to be. So after rambling on about him for however so many paragraphs it's been, I feel like I get it. I, it's shitty that he treated Ellie how he did in that scene, but I get it. At this point in the game, I can only hope that he gets a resolution of some kind, or at least some little moment of peace or happiness before the game concludes. Knowing this game though, we're probably not gonna get that. All right, so Ellie and Abby. Let, let's chat about them for a second. Uh, this is pretty short too. Under slightly different circumstances, I think Abby and Ellie would have actually been like really great friends. Both women have experienced loss, a loss of loved ones, and at least a partial loss of their childhoods. They're both in excellent shape and are excellent fighters. The pair are also avid collectors of little trinkets or items. They love animals and nature and both have like a really similar dry sense of humor. They're tremendously loyal and they care deeply about their inner circle of people and they both would have sacrificed themselves for the greater good yet somehow have a hard time valuing lives at the individual level. But you know what? We don't need to talk about that. I, I feel like generally their values align pretty well, which is why it's so distressing yet almost comical that they have tried at one point or another to kill each other throughout the game. So, so that's just like the one little thing that I thought was funny about Ellie and Abby that I noticed in the last episode. But let's let's move on to this one, Manny. The, this this is gonna take us a moment. Some of y'all were really surprised that I was upset by Manny's death. I don't really know why though. <laughs> Uh, Manny was Abby's Jesse, you know, he was a funny guy, pretty outgoing, perhaps a little bit older and a little bit more hardened, but he was, that was Abby's Jesse. He wasn't a solely evil person by any means. He's like every other fucking character in this game, right? Like he's just like Tommy, he's just like Joel, just like Ellie. He's a person who's done bad things. I mean, for goodness fucking sake, he's just like you and me, right? We're people, we've done bad things, but that doesn't define us solely. Like we're not evil because we've done bad things, right? I think I understand why Manny felt the need to spit on Joel's body and curse him. Although that doesn't completely justify what he did. It also doesn't mean that his death should be a celebration. If this game has reignited any thought in my brain, it's that people are so much more than one singular action that they've done or that they've committed. From Manny's perspective, Joel murdered God knows how many innocent people, or not so innocent people. Uh, he's prevented the fireflies from saving humanity. He's traumatized one of his closest friends by brutally murdering her father in cold blood. Whether you agree with it or not, that's Manny's perspective. But here's what's interesting. Just like Ellie, Manny fails to see the hypocrisy of his own actions. What Joel did to other people, Manny is doing right back to someone else. How many scars did Manny kill to protect his clan of wolves? If Manny was a part of the Fireflies at one point before the WLF, like Abby and Owen, how many people did he kill in the name of saving humanity or whatever the cause was or whatever the mission was? Manny just helped to torture and kill someone's father. How does his mind not wander to his own father back in the WLF stadium? Joel is no better than Manny, Manny is no better than Joel, yet Manny still spits on him and cursed him or whatever, and just like Ellie, he doesn't see it, he doesn't get it. All I can hope for is that even if Manny couldn't see it, even if Owen and Mel and Nora couldn't see it, even if Tommy can't see it, I hope that Ellie sees it one day. Uh, I hope she realizes the hypocrisy of her own actions like Abby did when Lev urged her not to kill Dina. So springing from that, I think it's pretty clear that Abby wanted to kill Dina right in front of Ellie. 
Like, she turned Dina to face Ellie and made it into, like, a moment instead of just quickly slicing open Dina's neck. Abby wanted to kill Dina right in front of Ellie to directly mirror what Ellie did to Mel. And she wanted Ellie to see it, to feel what she felt when she discovered Mel's lifeless body and probably what Owen witnessed and felt before he died shortly after Mel. But when Lev looked at Abby, pleading with his eyes, I think it finally hit her. It hit her that she was repeating what she did to Joel. She was repeating what Ellie just did to her loved ones a few hours ago. She was somehow still stuck wanting to get even, wanting that justice, wanting to do to someone what they did to her. And in that moment, she realized that settling the score, getting even, didn't get her anywhere because somehow she's right back where she fucking started at the beginning of the fucking game. Killing Joel didn't really seem to bring her any peace. It didn't free her. It actually was keeping her trapped to the point where she had to save two scars to ease her fucking conscience, which I would venture to say is fairly extreme for an elite and loyal soldier like Abby was to the WLF. Her entire belief system was able to have a complete overhaul because of how horrible and remorseful she felt about killing Joel. So how on earth could she do it all over again? How could she get stuck again in that? So that hit her. She didn't want to kill Dina and get stuck again. She wants out for good this time. Abby realized that this doesn't help her. It doesn't heal her. It doesn't alleviate her pain. It doesn't make any of it better. What made it better was doing good, was helping someone, was being a protector and not a hunter. What made it better was Lev and Yara. And Lev saying her name and looking at her reminded her of all of that that's not who she is, or at least that's not who she wants to be. She doesn't want to cause the hurt anymore, the same hurt that she's been suffering with for years, the hurt that she's been drowning in. So I think that when Abby tosses Dina's limp body aside and decides not to slit her open like a farmyard animal, it was actually a really profound character moment for her. And Lev himself is a reminder of her journey. He's representative of her growth over the course of the game and how she's changed. In that moment, Abby is finally free of something that Ellie is not of yet. Abby learned something that Ellie still has yet to learn, that it's not worth it. It doesn't make it better. It just traps you, it keeps you stuck, and it can destroy anything that you do have left. Again, I hope that Ellie realizes this sooner rather than later, because if she doesn't, she's going to end up like Tommy, fueled only by the thought of revenge, hate, rage, and hurt. And that's no way for anyone to live. So, so th those are all my thoughts from the last episode. I hope that offers a little bit of a deeper look into everything that I was feeling last time. As you guys know, I, I tend to cry when I feel some of these really heavy emotions that this game seems to love to evoke because I don't really know how to process them. I struggle with expressing and communicating my emotions like thoughtfully in the heat of the moment. It's really difficult for me to verbalize all of it. Um, especially in front of the camera. So I appreciate taking this moment to process my thoughts with you guys. And uh, there, there is something really therapeutic about it. So in conclusion, if you are emotionally stunted and are a poor communicator about your emotions like I am, write stuff down. It, it can really help, honestly. Like when you're overwhelmed, remember to take a break, cool down, maybe write a three to six page essay in APA format about all your feelings and then come back to it, you know? It might help you process and unpack everything that you couldn't understand before. Just like I couldn't understand why I was sobbing in the last episode for like 40 fucking minutes until we did these notes together today. Okay, it is time. It is finally time for you guys to get to see the episode. Thank you for staying with me if you're still here listening to me rant and rave. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed some of my thoughts if they ended up making any sort of sense at all. <laughs> but I'm just going to let you guys um, watch the episode and enjoy it. I look forward to hearing your thoughts both on my notes about last episode and everything that happens in today's episode. But I'm going to finally shut up and I hope you enjoy. You know what, it never occurred to me to tell you guys about my attempt at a baby version of our cosplay, like before I started talking about the notes, like some of you probably like clicked on this video and they're like, holy shit, did her boyfriend beat her up or something? No, he didn't. I beat myself up. I beat myself with a beauty blender. It's called a full face beat of fake injuries. It's gonna be a tough day. I can already... 
<laughs> my brain, I'm, my brain isn't working. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. It's just, I'm just not even here. I, my brain is somewhere else or something. I don't know. But I'm excited. <gasps> We're here. 24, 10. It's not gonna be on that side. It's all evens. Can I can I explore around here? You think? One four zero nine. <laughs> His voice is so cute. <laughs> Girl, I miss them. I'm glad we're playing as them. I'm glad we're with yeah. them. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be a good day. A dumb day for, for me, but it's gonna be a good day. Even if I'm inarticulate as fuck and can't form sentences with you know noun adjectives with verbs it's fine because it's still gonna be going? a good day just a sec i'm exploring i'm exploring no need to worry if yourself the fireflies are still out there then, yeah what do you think they're up to i don't know where were we when we ended the goal the was always to restore society is it around here yeah I mean, it was around here ways to go about it i listened to the dialogue at the end of the last episode 17. so getting warmer Wait. Oh, I hope not. I'm sweating already. <laughs> oh, is it humid? Um, You're such a good bro. Oh. What? Nothing. Goober. That was the cutest piece of dialogue I think I've ever fucking heard. That's so cute. I forgot it what house we're like looking for. Place. Like what house? Hey, something's out there. What house number are we looking for? What's to out there? Left. Demon. Oh, to our left. Okay. Oh god. I don't have any weapons. I don't I have none of my stuff from last time cuz I think I think our backpack was left on the island or something, but I need a brick. Oh my god. Look alive. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. Very cool. That felt so badass. Right. Oh my god. We're good. I think we dropped- yeah, we dropped something. Maybe. Or they dropped something. Oh, that was so fucking dope. Wait, did I say something again or am I hallucinating? This grass is messing with me. Let's wear graffiti. Do you know what that looks like? Fireflies? No. That looks like a gang sign. Nothing I recognize, at least. I mean, I haven't seen many gang signs, but I feel like that could be a gang sign. It could be. You don't know. <laughs> <gasps> Do I click her? Oh, that's just mean. That's just mean. I don't like clickies. I don't. Let me shivs. Huh. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Huh. Can I do something else to them? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do something else to them. I'm going to blow them up. Because why not? Although maybe I should oh that was probably a mistake. All um quiet now. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Cuz I'm low on supplies. Um that was stupid. I something was out there. But I can't do anything about it now. Yes, you did. Ah. Keep your guard up. Let's go back to finding that house. You know, 2425. That a boy. <laughs> that a boy. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I don't think I should have used that explosive there. That was dumb. Um do I restart? No, fine. I'll live with the consequences of my decisions, I suppose. What if we don't find them here? Then we try to find another Assuming lead somewhere else. All I don't the know. Leads dry up. What would you like to do? I don't know. Leave this place. Then go where? Okay. And where would we go? West. What's out See west? What's out there? It's nothing but ocean. And past it? Other countries, I guess. You want to do that? Wait, actually, that would be Good kind question. of fun. You can't tell me that wouldn't be fun. Because the entire time when we played Last of Us, Last of Us Left Behind, and Last of Us 2, we've always been in the US. I want to know what's going on in fucking Europe. Wait, actually, how would we even get there? Like, we can't just, like, rowboat ourselves over the fucking Atlantic Ocean. I mean, I guess we could, but that doesn't sound like it would have a very high success rate. But I actually feel like that would be so interesting if the next Last of Us game, if there's, like, a sequel to this one. What do you want to do for dinner tonight? We've got those lobsters I caught yesterday. If we could be in another country. Ooh, yeah. Genius. 
And we've got a few strawberries left. I like strawberries. If we find fireflies, we'll celebrate with strawberries. If we don't, we'll console ourselves with strawberries. Cool. Either way, we win with strawberries. Strawberries are a win no matter what. But do you know what's not a win no matter what? Is this gonna come alive? Is this gonna be a stupid ass wall zombie? Punch! <laughs> okay, maybe it won't come alive. Hopefully this motherfucker's dead. Okay, cool. Ever since last time we blew someone up and their torso like ate and chomped at my ankles, I'm a little, I'm a little suspicious of partially blown up zombies. I will take that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, tapes, tapes, tapes. What? I'm pretty low here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can fucking see that, Abby. I worked so hard to make sure I can pick up everything and craft everything, and then she loses her fucking backpack, and now I'm playing with nothing. I'm a little salty about it, not gonna lie, but we're going to adjust. We're going to be flexible. I'm gonna have to leave those. I'm gonna have to leave that tape behind. All right. So, where am I supposed to be going? I'm recording, right? Oh, I wasn't sure for a minute there. Can I go in here? Can I go in anywhere? I swear, their relationship got even cuter. That's not it. Okay. That's 24, 26. Okay, okay, thanks for telling me. Good eyes. They bonded even more since we last saw them. I'm living for them. Too far. This is too far? Okay. Then it's this one, maybe? Oh, am I getting- mm, This is sus. <laughs> I don't see any numbers. Wait, so is it yeah. this or not this? The 2426 is across the street. 2429 is next door. This has to be it. Okay. Right? Sure. Fun fact, I don't- I don't remember the exact numbers. I'm not paying enough attention. So sorry. Looks like we can Let's see. go through this way, though. I'm so excited to be playing. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so excited to play as Abby. <laughs> but I feel like we spent a lot of time with Ellie at the end of the last episode with her, Dina, and JJ. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy. Oh. Oh. Well, where should I go this first? This looks abandoned. Yeah, it do be like looking abandoned. All the other houses. Keep searching. I'm surprised there's not pills in here. You oh, this is the cute. Doors to look like the outdoors, but plants don't look like that. Oh. It's more like a a child's dream version of the outdoors. It's a cartoon. It's art. In the old world, it'd be common for them to decorate kids' rooms like this. My dad painted a, a colorful jungle for me. Oh. Yara would have loved that. Oh. I bet she would have. Oh! I, I'm i bitter that Yara's not alive. If you guys take a look at my notes that I did, I like take an entire page of notes just explaining why I feel like Yara should still be alive. Nothing over here. Oh, this is a cool room. I actually feel like this is the type of room that Ellie would like. These look like music posters or concert posters. I feel like Ellie would vibe with that shit. I'm already lost. I've been in a house for two seconds and I'm lost. Locked. Hmm. Maybe there's another way in? Maybe. Maybe. Are you being positive? I'm trying to be helpful. Oh. You're always helpful. They're so sweet. I love them. Can I pick yeah, I can pick that up. Or not. Come on. <laughs> okay. That was weird. Is there anything else around here? No, looks like we got everything in the kitchen. What's this? Hmm. 2425 Constance. This is the place. Ah, uh, yes. So this is definitely the place where we're supposed to be. There's nothing here. We don't know that yet. Okay, I can go through here. Maybe there's something in the pool. <laughs> Go in, swimming, do 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 do. This, the leaves and the lighting and the water. This looks like blood. It's not blood, but it could be blood. You don't know. Do you think I could? Oh, looks like I can't open that. There might be goodies in here. There has to be goodies in here. Or, okay. 
It's about to say, or an alive zombie. Yeah. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, they're being stingy with the scissors. All right, that's fine. That's fine, I suppose. Remember the last time we were in a pool? No. Yeah, I have a small recollection of it. If it makes you feel better, I also thought we were gonna die. When did nope. that happen? I'm trying to think. What did I miss? Yes, okay. <laughs> when they fell through the roof and they're in a pool. Yeah, okay. I remember. I remember now. That took me a moment, so sorry. Wait, is this how we get into the other room? This might be how we get into the other room. <sighs> Nada. Mm. Is it really nothing? It can't be. Mm. Well, maybe there would be something in here. Tank here. Anything? Anything? Just a bathroom that just needs to be cleaned desperately. Like my bathroom. My bathroom actually looks like that. I shouldn't be judgy of this abandoned house bathroom because my currently occupied and very much lived in bathroom looks horrible. I need to clean it. But you know what? My excuse for not cleaning it today is that I'm recording instead. Tee hee hee. Is that all that's in here? I guess so. I heard something. I heard something. Oh, it's just him. Oh. I guess I missed something over there. Give me a second. I'm gonna go out here. Actually, I guess that's all there was out here. All right. Well, let's go to where Lev is. Cause Lev, I, I think we're done here. here. No, wait. Yeah. Well, you I- find something? Yeah, I missed this. There's nothing- Wait, I'm confused. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. I walked past this and um, there was no, okay, it's fine. At least we know about it now. Thank God for listening mode <laughs> and the skinny thing. Scooch. I think Abby looks really pretty here, y'all. I think she, I think she looks really pretty. I don't know. Hello? It's her outfit. I don't know. She looks radiant. Maybe it's because she's full of hope at the thought of finding a firefly. I don't know since anyone's been here. Hmm. Am I gonna be Unfortunately, ambushed? Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. Maybe it's been a while since an alive person's been here, but what about a dead person? That looks kind of scary. I actually may not want to go in there. Um, I guess we will. Eventually. Okay, fine. I'll go in now. <laughs> Looks like there must have been multiple nice people. Barracks, all things considered. Like, look, there's like a lot of beds here. We were here for a Showers, while. Showers, too. Grab a dat. That's the shower, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, actually, hear me out. Um, did he not have showers? Did this? Did the seraphite? How did the seraphites bathe? Did they just, like, do, like, baths and not showers? I don't know. Maybe that's why he had to ask. They had power down here. Oh. Look around. Okay. I'll be looking around. Is this it? Guess they've got solar. Oh, I want solar. I think it's so cool. Upfront cost scares me. I, I hope that one day I'd be able to afford solar. That's what I want. Is this frequency currently in use? This is... Use a fake name. Is a call sign anywhere? Use a fake name. Oh, what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Okay. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. No, use a fake name. <laughs> Don't use your real name. Standing by. You know what? You know what? Ellie is probably gonna hear her say, this is Abby is from Santa there? Barbara. <laughs> What's this? Big Sur. Those are frequencies. I have no idea how this shit works. How this type of stuff works. I know nothing frequency about frequencies. Currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Stop repeating your name. Use a are fake name. other Firefly Outposts? I don't know. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Lev looks so much like Yara, now that his hair's grown in a little bit. I never, well, I mean, I saw there was other ones before, I guess, but 
Is this frequency I don't know. currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello. I just especially see it now, I think. Hello. Is this frequency currently in use? Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Ellie just responds. Can anyone hear me? Hola, Abby. I'm here to hunt you down. I'm gonna find you. I'm if gonna anyone kill can you. Hear me, please reply. <laughs> please answer. No. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Wait, is this a trustworthy person, though? Um. 24, 25 constants. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. Can we trust this Where person are you stationed? to give information to? I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. Who ran that facility? Dr. Jerry Anderson. He was my dad. We pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you are there? Four or five. Two hundred strong now. That you're offering up information way too easily. I'm not sure if I trust this or not. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. I don't like islands. We'll find you. Okay. Okay. We'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. I don't like islands ever since the Over last island. I don't... Mm, I hope this isn't a trap or anything. Let's get back to the sailboat. This seems too hopeful. This seems like it's going too well. I feel like something bad's gonna hey, happen. I fine. feel like it's you a trap. Right. And we're gonna fucking uh, die. What was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. Oh, that's so and cute. it happens so rarely. <laughs> I'm lost. Where am I going? No, this is where we go. Yes, yes, yes. This is what it's all going to be. It's not all going to be okay. Oh my god, we're going to get Joel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. No! No! Don't! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't! I'm feeling now. Fire up. Come here. Come here. Let me see. The mark on their vests. We saw a graffiti nah. mark. Wait. What are you doing? Wait. Wait. Ah, fuck, man. Ow. You're fine. Get that little one. Don't you fucking touch him! Why does this remind me of the Joel and Ellie in the basement theme in the beginning of the game? Oh, shit. What a, hell of a catch, huh? A catch? <gasps> Sir, what do you mean by catch? What are you gonna do with me? What do you plan on doing with me? Excuse you! Excuse you! What? What? What are they- What do you mean by catch? <laughs> what are they catching me for? This looks like Owen's sailboat. But we're with Ellie. Well, no. Didn't Abby mention Where's something about the sailboat? Here? Two, four, two, five, Constance. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Ellie found their boat? <sighs> or we're on our own boat. I don't know. Oh, look! It's a remnants of a fish dinner. Well, let me check if there's anything around here. No, okay. I spy with my little eye, a little something. 
So the good info I traded those fish for turned out to be bogus. Despite our repeated dead ends, my gut tells me the fireflies are in Santa Barbara somewhere. I'm picturing the snark I'd be getting if you heard me say that. Shut up. I'm gonna check out another tip back in the suburbs. Wish us luck. I was sitting by the fire at night with Lev. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely Abby's boat. I'm sorry, that took me a moment. I was sitting by the fire at night with Lev, looking at the waves, thinking about you. Is Abby writing to Owen? I told him your stupid joke about the skateboarding grandma. He laughed so hard he spit out his food. It's the happiest I've seen him yet. I miss you. You'd have liked it here. There are no towns, just small caravans that move up and down the coast. Everyone says Santa Barbara is haunted, like some Bermuda Triangle. I think it's beautiful. I saw a seal the other day. It had spots. Is this some karmic way of you mocking me? She writes to him. She thinks of him all the time still. Does Ellie have anything to say about that? Okay, homegirl don't give a fuck. Wait, is that a fish? Okay, well, oh, oh, it's the sharky plushie! Oh, it's Lev's sharky plushie. This is 100% Abby's boat. This is Abby Owen's boat. Yep, yep. Oh, wait, X, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot my controls for a second. How would she get up to the street from here? Oh my God. Wait, how did Ellie get here? If this is Abby's boat, how did Ellie get to this beach? You know, I'm not even gonna think about it too much. Oh my God. This looks like La Jolla. This looks like one of the, um, one of the cove beaches in La Jolla that I go to when I visit my family. These waves look so good. Oh, this looks incredible. I know we had a beach in Last of Us uh, 1, but it was dark outside when we saw it. Wait, how far do you think we can go in? Wait, 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 wait! Okay. This is, this is this is pretty cool. Oh look! She is really sunburned. She's kind of peeling. That's, those are great skin details. What's this? Is this a piece of trash? I think it is a glitch. I don't think that's supposed to be floating right there. Do you see that? I think that is a mistake. <laughs> These waves look so good. I feel like I'm almost at the beach. I can almost smell the dead fish and the rotten seaweed. Oh, look. It's the kelp seaweed. So slimy. You know, when this shit gets like tangled up on your feet, it makes you think there's something really sinister tugging at your toesies. It looks like there's something in a cave. Are these dead bodies? Oh wait, those are logs. I'm stupid, sorry. Got some alcohol, nice. Oh, please tell me Ellie still has all her stuff. Okay, I think, I think Ellie kept all her stuff because she didn't lose her backpack. Oh, thank God. I think she's good. <laughs> I think we have all her stuff. It's just Abby stuff that we don't have. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get to play with um, Abby and Lev more. But I hope we'll get to play with them soon or play as them soon. Because um, we spend quite a bit of time with Ellie. I'm kind of play as Abby. This looks promising. This looks promising. We'll just keep going up then. I feel like they switch perspectives really quickly here. Oh, too high for us. Okay. I should. Oh! We can go or not. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, give me a moment. Let me try that again. Okay. Running start. Look at us go and jump. Nice. And run, jump. I thought I wasn't going to make that there for a moment. I had a doubt. Wasn't sure we'd make it. Oh, it's a poison. This looks like a, this looks like a body to me. Nice. Thanks. Did I hear a zombie or am I imagining that? I might be imagining that. I thought I heard like a uh, kind of kind of beat, you know? I thought I heard that, but you know, hopefully I didn't, honestly. Do I have a melee weapon? I don't think I have a melee weapon, so I'm gonna take it. Thank you. Thank you. You can go under here. Oh, I feel kind of lonely. <laughs> I wish we had a companion. And um I'm really concerned about go. Lev and Abby. They've been captured by a not so friendly looking gang of gang of bikers, you know? You know what? Okay. I'm just going to assume that it's all gonna turn out okay. It's all gonna go okay. Except we're kind of playing as Ellie and we're kind of like hunting down Abby. Um, mm, but I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just not gonna overthink it. <laughs> <sighs> 
Are there gonna be zombies here? There's tall grass. No I'm suspicious. Mesa Bluff. There's tall grass. I feel like there's gonna be enemies right here. here. Mm hmm. And Santa Barbara proper is that way. I feel like there's gonna be zombies because of the grass. Oh, and there's the music. There is zombie music. I see a zombie too. Oh, do I do I still have my bow? Okay, I have a bow. I think yeah, I have the right ammo. I'm just gonna get that one right there. Okay, that did not kill them like I was hoping it would. Okay, um, I'm too far away. So and I just wasted god knows how many arrows. I don't even know if any of them hit. So I'm gonna restart checkpoint and you can't tell me not to. I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to be safe. I'm trying to make good decisions here. Okay, so Maybe I can stealth them. Let me get closer, see if there's any other zombies around here. What gun do I have? I want to swap the placement of these. There we go. And then I want... Bottle. Oh, oh, I see another one. I see the zombies. I see them. They're here. Okay, we got two. We got our sights on two of them. I was replaying Uncharted 4 the other day with my boyfriend. And it crossed my mind that I really like the system that they have in place that you can um, mark your targets. And I was kind of disappointed I can't do that in Last of Us, you know? <laughs> oh, alcohol. Ellie, did you grab the alcohol? I don't know if she grabbed it or not, but you know what? I'm going to return to the safety of the grass because I'm worried that I will be spotted by that second zombie I saw. And I definitely hear clickers, so there are clickies around here. Anyway, I kind of wish that I could mark my targets like an Uncharted 4. I'm scared. There was one like just around here, and now it appears to have disappeared. Hmm, <laughs> I think too far away. Or not. <laughs> Very cool. A little epic gamer moment for us. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? There's the, there's the creepy crawly ones. The ones who just crawl at you. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. 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 Uh, yes. This. Actually... Oh, wait, there's two. Okay, that's a problem. Mm. Are there more? Are there more? Are there more? I'm gonna- I'm gonna climb on here. I think we're good. Back to it. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Actually, well, I had no reason to be nearly as freaked out about it as I was. Looks like we can go in that way. Let me scrounge for goodies first. I'm pretty sure I dropped a bottle of alcohol somewhere. Uh, even if I didn't, I feel happy with what we've grabbed. Six and a half hours late. All right, so can we not? Okay, yeah, we can't open it this way. So we have to go the way that we saw a while back ago, this way. We can climb over, climb under, climb under seems safer. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna climb under. So I'm gonna go into this tall grass just in case I see somebody. This is scary. Here's a, another piece of tall grass. Oh, I hear someone. God, they... Um... Can they climb, can they fall off of... Wrong arrow. Wrong arrow. I've never seen one on the roof before. I think that's a new experience for me. So I can climb up here. Huh. Being on the roof reminds me of an Uncharted. This 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 gives me an Uncharted kind of moment. A feel. I, I can cut through here. Roof hopping. Very Uncharted-like. Anything around here? Uh, just some melee weapon I don't need. Oh, look at all the goodies. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything else? It's been a while since we've seen a trading card. Oh, I kind of miss this. That's cool. Nice. <laughs> I got used to the coins. This is a cute sailor themed kind of room. This is adorable. Where am I? 
I got lost. Oh, I did a little loop de loop. Oh, do I have to hop down there? Yeah, I think I have to hop down there. I don't wanna though. I don't wanna do it. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh god, Jesus. Oh fuck! Fuck! Ugh. I've made a mistake. Ah! My health, my health, my poor little health. Oh my fucking god. I need to craft more Molotovs. Oh, I did it again. I got way too close to the Molotov again. Why do I do this? I don't know. That was fucking terrible. I think we got everyone though. Shit. That was terrible. I hated that. Oh. I swear to God, Abby. I'm... These infected killed you. <laughs> She's gonna be pissed. Oh, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't want Abby to die. I like that girl a lot. She's really I grown in me. All right, give me a second, L. Give me a second. Give me a fucking minute. All right, yeah, there, there was stuff in here. Hopefully, okay, no wall zombies. Wait, I'm lost. I thought this was like the kitchen. No, this is the kitchen. Actually, this is a really cute kitchen. Like rustic-y, this is cute. This is adorable. Oh, and there's an upgrade station. Do we have, even have enough parts to upgrade anything? Uh, I need tape. I wasted a Molotov on a stalker, a creepy crawler. I'm kind of mad about that. Hopefully we'll get more supplies at some point. I've already wasted so many. You know, bloaters just, they love to eat those mollies. They just chomp them up real quick. Mom, I'm gonna go talk to the rattlers. I'm sorry I'm telling you like this, but I didn't want you to stop me. We're starving. We can't leave the area with you and Abuela like you are. It's only a matter of time before they find us. If I can join them, we would all be protected. I know this is scary, but I love you and I'm willing to do Whatever I need to keep you both safe, Arnie. Oh. Oh. I'm thinking that the Rattlers might be the people that captured Lev and Abby. That's just what I'm thinking. Um. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I want scope. <laughs> I want scope. I got Abby's scope um, on her crossbow, which... First of all, so fucking cool. So it's only right that Ellie would have a weapon that has scope. You know, it just seems right, doesn't it? I think there's more gears around here somewhere. Or maybe not. You know what, that's cool too. Oh, looks like there's stuff in here. Oh, you know what? I will be taking that off your hands. Thank you for the presents. Thank you for the presents. Thank you for, 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 thank you for all of it. I will just be taking it all. Thank you. I feel like I've always underutilized trap mines. That and smoke bombs. I don't think I've used a single fucking smoke bomb throughout this entire game. I think we got everything. Which means I can just go out here, I think? This is where we were with the floaters. Where am I? There's gotta be a street around here. Looks like we can just go underneath. There are gonna be zombies here, because we got tall grass. Uh, Hmm. Maybe not. What okay. am I looking at? I was looking at completely the, the wrong thing. 24, 25, Constance. Oh, that's cute. I have that. I have that little moth right here. She rubbing off, but she there. <laughs> Looks like we're just gonna go this way and then down, she said. We're going down. There's... Oh, um, what if the truck opened? What if there's something in the back of the truck? Oh, I think I see things. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna leave the explosives. I'm not even gonna bother checking my inventory. <laughs> I, I know I can't take that. Um, hmm, maybe, do I just go down this way? This way sounds great. 
She has to be down there. Oh, no. God, jeez, what happened there? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Because I'm. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, I will take that. Thank you. What I really need is tape. I don't really need some of this stuff. Or, yeah, I don't need the fucking scissors. I need the fucking tape. Okay. Oh, shit. That's noisy. <laughs> Any more? Looks like that's everything in the immediate vicinity. Oh, you don't have anything. Sad. Um, can I craft any more of these? Yeah, I can't. You know why? Because I need tape. That's great. Oh! Would you look at that? I've been impaled! I'm sorry, Olaf just immediately came to my mind right there. Please do not tell me we're gonna do like an upside down shooting section because if we are, I'm so fucking screwed. Do you think we could just take off our shoe and just slip from this little rope? Question, do you think being upside down would make blood loss like more of a thing? I'm just curious. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd switch back to Abby right there. <laughs> nah. I don't think that's Abby because I don't think that's Lev next to her. That looks really tall for Lev. <laughs> she confused this old man with Abby. <laughs> it just fucked up. It's your fault. You set this fucking trap. I'd be lucky if she lasts a month. Uh, I think these are the same guys. Just say we're done for the day. Yeah. yeah get that thing Rattlers. down. Let's reset the trash. I think these. Yep. Those are the same guys. Really, man? That's their tattoo thingy. Or not the tattoo. Worth the trip back. It's not like. Not a tattoo. It's their symbol on their vest. <laughs> Something funny? Looks like you shit your pants. Fuck you say. Oh, little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when she just shit talks telling, huh? people. Get up. Come on. Get up. Oh, we are oh, really man, bleeding. Man, fucked up anyway, man. Come on. Yeah, funny, man. We are really it's bleeding. Wait, when did she pick up a gun? I don't even- When did Ellie pick up the gun? Oh my god! Shit! I hope these were not completely innocent people. We picked one up a couple months ago. Yeah, sure. Oh no, big girl. Blonde. Arms like mine. Arms like his, yep. Strawny kid with cuts by his mouth. And that's Abby. Yeah, that's her. Sorry. You let me go. I'll tell you where she is. You can get to her before that infection takes over. I get the feeling she's going to kill him, actually. We have a new bite mark to add to our collection. We're gonna have to get another tattoo. Talk. <laughs> she's in a holding cell in our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in the tall, round building. Isn't that where the? Yeah, that's the fire. That's where the firefly told her to go. I think. I think it was a trap. Well, was it an intended trap or not? I swear. Ellie. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Ellie doesn't like those words. Um, I'm pretty sure Joel said those exact words to her at the end of the last game. Spare to me that everything you said about the fireflies was true. 
I swear. <laughs> and then she says, okay, or something like that. Maybe I'm not remembering that correctly, but I feel like, I feel like Joel said that. So yeah, I don't think that Ellie is a huge fan of those words. So she killed him. Cool. Traxter Resort. Tall round building. So I'm kind of confused about the Traxter tall round Resort. building. And if it was like a trap. Tall round building. I, I'm confused. I have questions about that actually. Oh, we'd stitched ourselves up. Fuck. Over here! <gasps> She's Keep looking real She's looking really thin. Go back. Is that a gun? He's got a gun! Go back. God damn it! Shit. Alright. Fuck did he get a gun? Tell the others to search the oh, I can use Make it. Sure he's the only Fuck one yeah. That got out. But I'm still gonna use this for a while, I yeah. think. I find out anyone helped him. They're going in the fucking pool. These are rattlers. And he was acting up for a while. This is the third this month. You ready to put more people on the gate? People on the gate need to do their fucking jobs. Go look around. I want to know if he was alone. Good. So these are the Rattlers. We've got a new group. Okay. We've got a new group because Sarah fights. Is that a dog? Fuck. I forgot what I was talking about. I was confused because didn't the Firefly guy tell Abby to go to the tall round building? But then she got ambushed, so maybe he was telling her something truthful? I don't know. I don't know. I, I have questions and I am confused. I am confusion. Fuck. We'll see what that was. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we can move forward now. Is there anything in here? Big group. Nice. Very good Better stuff. Find her before these idiots kill her. <laughs> yeah, we have to kill her. You know, God forbid someone else do it. Oh, I need to try out this new gun that we have. Is there anything else around here? I wonder if we can go in this building. Let's go up this ladder. This will be fun. Oh, well, actually, let me go up the ladder, and then we can go into this train car. We can go in here. <laughs> Okay. Are there any other people? I don't think there are any more people. Cool. It makes me wonder why we could um, go up there. Anything? Anything? Yes. Yes. Thank God, because I was wasting some of my arrows, so to tell you the truth, I'm rather relieved you've given me some. I thought that was a mirror for a second. Looks like we got some stuff in here, though. I will take these. I, you know, I'll take all of it. Thank you for your generosity. I shall count my blessings. Mwah. Okay, let me do that. I need to craft another health kit at some point. Um, oh, I should have used explosive arrows, but it is okay. Did I see something right there? I did. I did see something. What's in here? Oh, God, I love looting. It brings my heart such joy. Mmm, health kit. Cool. Took her a while to open it. That's okay. I don't mind waiting. I'm patient. I'm the most patient person ever. What did I miss over here? Oh, skizzers. Razor blades. Very neat. I guess we can just go forward, right? I don't know. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. What sees me? What sees me? I don't know, but things see me. Alrighty. Ah, oh, shit. That didn't fucking work. Right there! Oh, this is smooth like butter. I love this fucking gun. Move it! She's 
Oh my god. Fuck. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? Oh shit. Fuck. How many? Wait, wait. I'm. Um, give me that. I'm. I. 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 I need this. Yes. Give me. Any others? Oh, okay. Fuck. Well, she's I talking, so I think we're safe. Nice. Where are the tracks? Oh, that was stressful. I thought my arrow got her head, but then she alerted everybody. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's so cool. It's whatever. Okay. Reload. <laughs> Oh, I can't move that. Maybe there's something in here. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, what is what is coming next? Why are y'all being so generous with the goodies, huh? What are y'all playing in here? This is sus. Glittery glowy for me. Thank you, thank you. Anything, anything else? No. Oh, 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 there's something here. Sure. And then I'll take that. Nice. Have a bottle at the ready, just in case we get ambushed by a peephole. Oh! Rifle. Nice. Well, we have to leave that behind, I guess. Oh, just wrong one. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm being a little aggressive there. No need to pull out the nine. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, rattlers! Because it's a snake. And here I was thinking it kind of looks like the, the dark mark, the death mark, you, you know, the Harry Potter thing that all the evil people have. Scars, wolves, fireflies, fuck all these groups. <laughs> if that ain't a mood, <laughs> I don't know what is. I guess all we can do is go forward now. Uh, okay. Let me... Tracks to the resort. I love this weapon. This automatic thingy, I love it. I fucking love I'm not it. dying today. Well, I mean, don't Too fucking close. Don't say that, Ellie, cuz honestly, we don't want to jinx ourselves here. Cool. Anything? Scissors, melee. Oh, tape. Oh, I needed that. I really fucking needed that. We can we can craft more arrows soon. Very, very soon. Climb up here. Do you think these things explode? Like these roundish looking tank thingies? Shit. Let's move! It's a work camp, isn't it? Oh, so do the rattlers just Force people into slavery because they're too lazy? I mean... That looks like a tall round building. Seems rather short-sighted to me. I feel like, um, prisoners long-term never really work out that well. Like, slave prisoners? I don't know. Slave labor, I feel like, just never is a permanent solution to a problem. Oh my god, that's a body! Oh, at least it's dead. Mm, hey rattlers, I'm Mackenzie, or it's Mackenzie. I'm out free. My husband died picking your fucking tomatoes. We aren't some lonely stragglers. I will be back with others. Your time is coming. Okay. Um, good luck, Mackenzie. Hope you succeed in your mission. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Life is good. Life is quite excellent. Do I have to climb down there? Do I have to, like, get on my belly and go down there? Well, before I do that, I want to make sure there's no other options. Yeah, that's, I think, our only option. Um, I guess I'll do that. Oh, I have to crouch. Oh. You want to get in? Come on, come on, you can do it. Just a little closer, buddy. 
leave him alone. He can't feel anything. Fuck that. I promised him I'd do this to him. This is such an awful zombie. Bet you wish you didn't try to escape now, don't you, Anthony? They chain zombies. That's kind of horrible. That's kind of sick. Okay. All right, you know what? I might not even want to stealth this. Call me crazy, but you know what I might do? I might just fucking kill a motherfucker. Fucking guy doing. You better start running. Found you. <laughs> that was loud. What's this? Oh. Oh, can I unleash these dudes? These are some sick fucks. Oh shit, I think I can unleash their zombies on the people. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep that one in mind. Tape, gears, anything else? Okay. Oh, that that's cool. Oh. Okay, I can't go in there. <laughs> Locked. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, give me this melee weapon. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, let's scrounge for goodies. Ooh, I need to remember I have this gun. Why do I keep forgetting that I have this gun? Hear me out. The rifle works better without scope. Um, you can't tell me that I'm wrong. I just feel that strongly about it. I generally feel like I aim better um, when I didn't have that uh, fully upgraded. Well, let's take a look in this building because it looks like. That lit area is the obvious place to go. So, looks like there's stuff in here. I will take all of it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Arrows. Alcohol. Very excellent. Can I craft another molly? Oh, I can. Nice. Nice. It's a snacky. I will be taking that. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I can go up. Yeah. Alrighty, alright. What kind of goodies lies in wait for me over in here, huh? <gasps> Thank you! Oh my god, wait, we can probably upgrade something now. Do you guys um, remember? We found an upgrade table somewhere. Was I just here? No. This is the up place. This is upstairs. Kind of identical to the downstairs. This has to be like a old hotel or something. Alrighty, um, upgrade station. That's where I wanted to go. I think that was in this barn-like area. Or this wood shop, workshop. Yes, words. I'm gonna do damage on this little buddy boy here. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, it's okay. I missed something up above. How do I, oh, I can probably just climb like so. Oh, cool. I feel particularly grateful right now. Thank you. <laughs> the generosity. It amazes me. That is a disembodied little hand. My goodness. What do I want? I don't know what I want. I need to get a shotgun there. Can I open this at all, do you think? Or is it going to be locked like the one on the other side? It's locked and I can't jump. The only place I can go now is this way. Is a forward. Full on that. Thank you. 
scissors. Can I do anything with scissors? Uh, no, but I'll craft another molly. And I'll craft some of these. Nice. Looks like I can just go in here. Okay. Should I be concerned? Is there people in here? Are there people in here? Oh, shit. Nice. Is this a laundry room? Yeah, this has to be like an old hotel. You know what? They probably mentioned that, but honestly, I probably messed it. Or wasn't paying fully attention as I needed to be. Um. Oh, shit. Let me grab this superior melee weapon. I'm gonna leave that stuff behind. I'm not even gonna fucking check. I hear music, so I'm gonna be careful right now. I'm gonna be very careful. I'm not seeing anything. Wait, I'm confused. I also have to pee really bad. Sorry, too much information. <laughs> Wait, where do I go? Do you think I could just hippity hop at this? Oh, shit. It's all around building. There it is. Okay. Fuck all these assholes. Yeah, fuck all these assholes. There's a dude over here. Come on, come on, come on. to swap ammo to regular arrows. I feel like if... I, I just want to kill it. it. It gives me anxiety to think about releasing them. I'm sorry. That's just where I'm at in my life right now. Oh, I see someone up there. Fuck. Uh -huh. oh, don't have enough. Fuck. I've made an error. I might want to just fucking alert someone. this place. She can't have gone far. Thought I saw her. I'll see what's up. I got your back. Uh. We got her! Fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. Cole! Move in! All right! Keep up the pressure! Look alive! Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so smooth. That fucking gun, I love that gun. That gun is incredible. See ya. Oh, the anxiety I feel. Okay, I need to find someone to kill. Very cool. Really fucking cool. No, no! Epic moment for us. I see a person right here. God damn it! Nice. Shit. 
Mm. Fuck, no, 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 you stupid bitch. Oh my god. Fuck, dude. I tried to throw the brick at him, not whatever I ended up doing. I need a heal. Alright, so I'm a little off my game today, but you know what? I'm gonna forgive myself because mistakes are okay and no one can be perfect. a little more stealth when I play as Ellie than when I play as Abby. Which is kind of interesting, I guess. Oh, we might be done. Where are you fuckers? Scissors. Come on. Don't stop now. What's wrong? Oh, maybe it's her stitches. Maybe it's that issue. Oh. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry myself by it too much. Maybe she'll come downstairs if she really cares about Nika. Very neat. I got some good, a few good headshots in there. Ooh, rifle stuff too. Very cool. What's in here? More stuff. <gasps> Yo, what's about to go down? This is way too much. They're being generous. It's very suspicious. Yo, why does this? Why is the Santa Barbara section so tense? <sighs> oh, I feel like I can't breathe. Jenny, sending along some extra beef, grapefruit, and potatoes I just got. They've been impressed with how many strays I've captured and wanted to reward me. We're seeing the best crop we've had since we settled here. Please make sure my mom gets fatty cuts. She looked too skinny last time I saw last time I saw her pat. Alright, so yeah, then it's slave labor. Hmm. Great. Wonderful. Excellent. All right, cool. What the hell's going on here? We're under attack! Come on, let's go! Ah, fuck. Right here seems very safe. Oh, very cool. Oh, shit, no. Oh my god. You shouldn't have done that, sir. I don't know what to tell you. That sucks for you. Nice. I feel like I was lucky with that shot. That one wasn't me. I wasn't really aiming that one that well. What's this person gonna do? Oh, come on. Why do y'all see me so quick? Nice. Okay, there's another one. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a minute. Oh. She's out of ammo! Ah. Whatever. Jesus. They're under attack! That way! They came from that way! Come on. <laughs> Very 
Very nice. Wait, why are there so many people, huh? I might go another way. Some of these guys are too far away. I must get closer. You got it. Um. Goodbye. Love Flynn knowing you, mate. Fuck yeah. Got her pin. Pete is no longer with us, unfortunately. It sucks, but it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm just gonna go another way. I'm just gonna go another way. You can't stop this! You can't stop this! Oh no! You're dead, fucker! Am I or are you? It's a question for the ages. Nice. Are we done? The music's being different. Yeah, I think we're good. Look at all this ammo right here, because we killed so many people close to- Oh my god! Look at all this shit. Look at this, y'all. This is epic. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Nice. Alright, let's see what's around here. I feel like this section is taking me forever. I feel like I've been fighting non-stop. Huh. Yeah, there's stuff around here. Look at all these exploded bits. You know what, y'all? I will say it one more time. The explosive arrows? They have grown on me substantially. I really, really enjoy what they do for me. I'm full on this. No shit. I feel like it's been a moment since we've had a story beat. Or maybe it's just me taking forever in this fucking combat section because I'm kind of a pussy. Huh. Look at those zombies down there. I'm gonna leave them. Oh, but I'm not going to leave this. No, sir. Which way am I supposed to go? Okay, not this way. Maybe this way. I'm kind of scared. It's just the zombies over there. It's still sus though, you know what I mean? It still don't sit right with me. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, we could have bypassed that entire thing, huh? Do I hear people? Do I hear people? I might be hearing people. Huh. I thought I heard a breath of someone, like someone hippity hoppity over something. Oh! Jesus! I think this is the lady who hit Abby with a bat. She kind of looks like Tess. <laughs> oh, yeah, who needs eyeballs? Not us. So is Abby gonna come out of one of these places? Is Abby gonna come out of here? Where's Abby? Where's Abby? Yeah, where's Abby? She spit! Keep back! Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me! Hey, 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 hey! Abby spit? Abby tried to escape. Oh. She's down in the pillars. They were talking about me. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. Okay. She's probably already dead. Abby doesn't want to hear that. Come on. Okay. They're just going to leave us be. That's great. And we freed prisoners who were there um, against their will. So that's wonderful. The music's psyching me out, though. Not going to lie. I'm getting scared. This music's scaring me. Ellie, you sound crazy. Come on, you can get inside. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I always say. 
prisoners are, prisoners are never a good idea. You know why? Because one day they will escape, and one day they will enact revenge, and they will kill you. Ugh, Jesus. We opened up our stitches, huh? Fuck. Hmm, we're moving slow, too. Oh, I can't even get out my gun. That's pretty. Explosions are very beautiful if you really think about it. They're like, um, destructive fireworks. They're quite nice, quite lovely. Look at these palm trees. You know what? Uh, this section hits different than other sections we've played. This, um, Santa Barbara. Like, this is all different. This is all weird. I don't know, it just, um, the tone of it is different, I guess? Or the pacing? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just, it's... It's different. Oh my god. Is that a bird shitting on a dead person's head? No, I think I think they're eating the dead person. Okay. Oh, oh god, oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, great. So... Abby? Abby's crucified somewhere here? I'm scared. I'm scared. <sighs> coughing? Coughing, 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 coughing. No. Is this Abby? You're so thin! They starved her! Well, it's a war camp. Why am I surprised? I- I just- Are we gonna slit open her belly? No? I think we're actually gonna cut her down. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. How long has she been at this camp? She's little. Our baby. Happy. Oh. Lev, I'm. I got you. Ellie looks so confused right now. She's like, <laughs> look at her. Sorry, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. <sighs> They're both this way. Are we just gonna escape together? Honestly, that's fine by me. That That's more than okay. That's more than okay with me. This is a haunting fucking place, though. It reminds me of Uncharted. <laughs> Anything reminds me of Uncharted 4. Do you remember the people in cages in Uncharted? That's what this place reminds me of. Except this is a little more gruesome, you know? Because they were like crucified here instead of, and hung here instead of just like put in cages and left to die there, you know? So I think everyone's a little malnourished. Because even, look at Ellie. Even Ellie's a little thinner than I think she used to be. Um... I'm trying to, like, how long... Did I miss a time hop somewhere um, between when we first played as... Is this the menu screen? <laughs> Bro, I think that's the boat in the menu screen. But I don't... I think I'm confused a little bit on the timing from, between the time we played as Abby and the time we switched to Ellie right after we played with Abby and Lev and they got captured. I think I missed something there. Baby love. The way she cradles him so gently. It breaks, it breaks my heart. I'm fine. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. You know why? Because it would affect my special effects makeup that I did right here. <laughs> we are struggling. I really didn't need that PTSD flashback. Honestly, she probably didn't either. No, no, girl, if you don't let it go. No, the music, the music did something funny there. Let it go. Don't let that, don't let that change things. Let her go. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. No. 
Pick a lady while she's down, Ellie. No. Why'd she cut us down? Just... If you know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna fight you. Yes, she will. You are not threatening our baby Lev, Ellie, are you? He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. To get our ass beat by Abby. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Do I have to do this? I don't want to do this. I don't. I don't want to do this. Let's just drown ourselves in the ocean. We'll just keep backing up. We'll just keep backing up into the ocean until we drown. And then I won't have to do any of this. I won't have to deal with this at all if I drown in the ocean. A uh, solution to our problems. I will not be killing Abby today. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just fine. I don't feel the need to do that. I'll just keep dodging until uh, one of us dies of starvation. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I just don't want to do this. Okay, you know what? Maybe I have to do this because we're not getting anywhere. I guess I have to start stabbing and slashing. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill her. I'm gonna fucking kill Ellie. I dodged that. Fun fact about me. I actually dodged that. I dodged it. No, I'm not gonna- I'm not doing it. I'm not- I'm not fucking doing this. Oh, you're gonna do it anyway. I see how it is. Oh! I guess I have to do it. Um... All right, I've learned my lesson. I must just kill Abby, I guess. I've got no choice in it. I just gotta fucking kill the character you've made me like and you spent the entire game making me like. That's fine by me. Oh yes, love this. Scream. Please stop, please stop. I like that we have a chance against Abby now that she's malnourished and skinny. That's kind of fun. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh shit. I don't want to do this. I'm not even trying to punch her, honestly. I just fucking hate this. Ellie, don't. Ellie, don't. Ellie. 
Ellie. Ellie, please come. This isn't what you want. I want to see you like this. Please don't do it. Please. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, please don't. Ellie. Let her go. Ellie. Please let her go. Great, you did the right thing, Ellie. You did the right thing, girl. You're okay. Forehead fucking hurts. It's like a stress tension headache there. Our fingers. We've got stumps. Sorry. I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, inappropriate uh, emotional reactions. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're back home. How many seasons do you think it's been? Like, how how long do you think Ellie was gone? And I still want to know where in the U.S. this is, because I want to go there. I would love this life. Cottagecore, lesbian life for me. Yes, please. Yes, please. We're going to get to see JJ and Dina. And we're alive and intact. It's going to be... It's going to... They laughed, didn't they? Tina did give us an ultimatum, sort of, in that conversation, didn't she? It's all empty. I wonder who helped her back. I wonder if her parents came. Wait! Who delivers letters when there's no post office in the apocalypse? Like, do they have a writer from Jackson deliver letters? Wait, so, okay, this sounds really stupid. But if we have a letter we want to give to Jackson, how are we going to give that letter? How are we going to get that letter to Jackson when we don't have anyone to deliver the letter? Like, the Jackson community probably has, like, a designated, like, letter person. But what do we do when we want to send a letter? Probably not respond, I guess. Everything's so empty. I feel so alone. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's all our shit. It's our art office. They didn't take our stuff. I think we put one of those on for Dina. <sighs> this house isn't as beautiful without Dina in it. Thank you. 
still plays great. <laughs> Low key. <laughs> She's, she doesn't have these two fingers, but she can still play. <sighs> She's doing great. She's doing great. I wonder if we're gonna be with Abby now. Abby and Lo. Sure. He's playing. This is actually this is what Ellie saw um, when she decided not to kill Abby. This is this little porch moment is what she saw. Hi. She's so awkward. <laughs> what are you drinking? Coffee. He loves his coffee. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. I'm a little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but. <laughs> Tell me what you had to trade to get I'm it. Bad. In my nose. I had Seth under control. So this is after the party? Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Dana, is she your girlfriend? It's so cute. No. <laughs> no, she, that was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. Idea what that girl's intentions are, but but I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Joel, you're such an asshole. Ellie <laughs> says the I asshole. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. Your life still matters. But you took that from me. <sighs> if somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment, I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. Mm -mm. 
Oh my god, I feel snot running down my fucking nose. <sighs> well, honestly, we left it on better terms with him than I had thought for, like, the entire game. I thought it was way worse than that. <laughs> I'm gonna put that- I'm gonna put this moth on- my guitar. I'm gonna do it. I have a tailor. My dad gave it to me for my birthday last year. Is she just leaving? The guitar- that's sun damage. That- that's- that's not a great way to store the guitar, Ellie. Is that the- End? Is th No. No. Y no. No. That's it? That's all I- that's all I get! Maybe she's gonna come back for the guitar because she knows that's not the right way to store it and take care of it. I don't know. Speaking of which, I need to get some humidity packs for my guitar. I also broke a string yesterday when I was trying to tune the damn thing. It's the second time I've fucking done that. The last time I tried to restring the string after I snapped it, it did not go well. I feel like Ellie is gonna come back there because she didn't put the guitar back in the case. Do you think maybe I'll get like an after scene or something? I hope- I hope I'll get like a little after scene or something because this just wasn't quite- I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna sit here and wait and we'll see if we get an after scene. Two thousand years later. With precisely zero after scenes to be had. The new menu screen looks great and it looks less depressing than the last one did. Um, I, I watched the entire credits. Um, I loved the music throughout it. It was really well picked. Um, I think it was like all the best highlights of the score for the entire game. Uh, I especially loved hearing like Ellie and Joel's voice actors sing uh, at the very end of the credits. I thought that was great. You probably won't be able to keep the credits in because of copyright reasons, but just know that I watched them and I enjoyed them. I must admit I'm a little disappointed that there's not like an after scene or anything. I was kind of hoping for something with Abby or some sort of like really exciting climactic cliffhanger of some kind, but um, we didn't get that and that is, <laughs> that, that's fine. In The Last of Us 1, we got a sort of ambiguous ending, uh, but when I played Last of Us 1 and when I finished it, I was left with a feeling of Oh god, I wish- I wish there was more. I wish I could play more. I wish I knew what happened. But I also felt like it had a really good ending. I also felt like, uh, it was enough. Like, I got just enough to be satisfied and to feel at peace, I guess. Um, even if, like, there wasn't gonna be another game, I would have felt satisfied with The Last of Us 1 and Last of Us 1's ending. This game is a little bit different. I don't feel nearly as satisfied with this ending as I did with Last of Us 1's ending. I also find myself really wishing that I had gotten an Abby and Lev ending moment, not just them drifting away in a boat after Ellie so graciously let us go. I was hoping for a more neutral moment with Lev and Abby, similar to how we got a neutral sort of ambiguous ending for Ellie, her walking away from the house, but I mean it was something. I find it really odd that we didn't get that moment with Lev and Abby when I feel like this entire game has been a journey about trying to understand two ladies, two women. We've been trying to understand two people. It isn't just a story about Ellie, it's a story about Ellie and Abby. I genuinely feel like that throughout the entire game, Naughty Dog's really been trying to tell us how 
these two ladies are pretty much the same people. They, they are decent people who do good things and who have done bad things, but who don't want to always do bad things. So I think it's kind of unequal in a way that we didn't get an ending moment with Lev and Abby, and I really, I've really come to like them and care about them, so... Teensy bit salty about that one, mate, but that's all right. <laughs> So regarding what we play today specifically, it seemed a lot more fragmented or choppy, I guess, than what we've played in the past, especially like last episode. I feel like last episode flowed really well together. This one has felt a little bit rushed. Um, and the only reason why I think it is a little bit rushed or it felt a little bit rushed to me is because this game really loves to take its time. This game loves just hanging out sometimes. How long did we spend with Ellie on Seattle day one? Like, if you compare the rest of the game to what we played today, I feel like this came across to me as a little bit... Lazy is a little too mean of a word. This came across to me as just rushed. Um, I think that's the only word I can find right now that describes what I'm feeling. I wish we had played more of... Abby and Lev. Like, it just seems so unfair that we got to see Ellie and Dina and JJ in their house and we hung out at their farm and we saw that Ellie's still having PTSD and that's why she needs to go out and find Abby. And then we spend like two seconds with Abby and Lev and then we're with Ellie for like the rest of the fucking game and then the game ends. And that's it. That's all we get. I, I wish I'd just gotten more Lev and Abby. I know, I've said that already. I need to, I need to move on. I need to move on to the next point. What's my next point? I don't even know. Um, this just felt like a really rapid end to it all. I do feel a little bit unfulfilled. I do feel a teensy bit disappointed that there isn't a little bit more. Um, I just know that there's gonna be people coming for me in the comments, saying that I'm like, not intelligent enough to like, get the artistry and the masterpiece that is the ending of this game and how profound it is and I, I know I know people are gonna come for me, I get that. Fine, think what you wanna think. I can't really change how I feel. I loved the game. I love the game. And the ending kinda leaves me a little bit... Well, I don't wanna say a bad taste in my mouth. That sounds really mean. That's a little too harsh. The ending, I feel like, doesn't quite match. It doesn't quite live up to the precedent set forth by the rest of the game. I think there's a disparity there. And I, I really don't want you to think ill of me or to, I mean, well, actually you can do whatever the fuck you want, but I'm left with this impression that the people who made the decision to end the game this way were more concerned with having an artistic moment, you know, like, uh, more than they were concerned about our feelings and how we would feel at the end of the game. If they want me to feel like unfulfilled and kind of unhappy and a little bit depressed, then they, they definitely succeeded. But I don't really want to feel that way after the end of a game, after I finish what I consider to be like a really great game overall. I don't really want to feel that way. That doesn't make me want to replay this. <laughs> it doesn't make me look forward to a, a possible sequel <laughs> if I feel this kind of bleh after this game. This ending strikes me as a little bit pretentious. And I just know there's gonna be people who tell me, Oh, well, you're too simple-minded. You just didn't get it. No, I think I get what they were going for, but I'm just not a fan of that type of ending. And that's okay. You know what? That's okay. I'm able to appreciate so many different things about this game. And I'm able to enjoy, God, the gameplay, the graphics. Beautiful. Without entirely agreeing with how they ended it. That's okay, like all things considered, if I only have a few qualms after a game, that's pretty great. But what I will say is that after playing after playing a game like Red Dead, I think that I might be a little too critical of other games maybe. I was devastated after finishing Red Dead, both the main story and the epilogue. I was fucking in pieces. I was, I was, it was rough. And, but I still left that game feeling like it was worth my time and that it was worth all the tears and it was worth all the time that I had spent, you know, editing it and recording it and experiencing it and crying over it and loving it. It was worth all the ups and downs, you know? And I think that's partly because of what they left me with. 
what they immediately left me with, which is an ending. Um, an ending that I found satisfying, although heartbreaking. So maybe Red Dead has just spoiled me forever. I don't mind tragic endings. I don't mind ambiguous endings, but I do mind not feeling more satisfied with an ending. And so this one did disappoint me a little bit. Um, going back to like kind of comparing, I guess, to Last of Us 1, I think they did a really good job of making sure Last of Us 2 was its own thing. It wasn't trying to be its predecessor. It wasn't trying to hit the moments that the predecessor hit. It was its own thing. I think that's actually really admirable when a sequel goes out of its way to make sure that it's not just like a little repeat you know i admire that this game tried to do a lot of different things and i think a lot of things about this game were brave uh abby was pretty brave with all that being said i think that last of us one was a stronger game overall i think it was more focused i think that's the best word it was more focused more streamlined it definitely knew what type of game it was going to be and I think Last of Us 2 was a cohesive game. It had a beginning, it kind of had like two middles, and then it like had an end. But I think some things were kind of floopy in the middle, or one section would run a little bit too long, or something here could have been a little bit more condensed, or maybe you shouldn't have killed quite so many people like Yara and Jesse, although I understand why you would. Like, I think it was a little bit more messy than Last of Us 1, but it couldn't have been as straightforward because we have, we're switching perspectives so often. We have so many flashbacks, and we had perspective hopping between Abby and Ellie in the midway. I would even venture to say that I would have preferred maybe a few less flashbacks in favor of Ellie and Abby's perspective switching a little bit more frequently. I wouldn't have minded it a little more switching there. To conclude this little tangent that I've gone on, um, gone off on, I think Last of Us 2 was different. I don't think it was necessarily better than Last of Us 1. And I don't think it was necessarily worse. It was just less focused. I think that's like all my criticism for the game though. Um, would I recommend it for a certain type of person? Yes. If they're in a bad place, I would not recommend this game. No, no, no. This one will put you in the psych ward, sweetie. But yeah, I think, I think this is a pretty good game overall. I don't think it was perfect. I don't think it was an absolute uh, 10 out of 10 masterpiece, but I would give it a solid like eight out of 10. It, it, it had a lot of great moments and it gave me a lot of perspectives of things that are happening in my own life as you could probably tell by the three pages of fucking notes that I wrote on the last episode but although I am a little bit disappointed with the ending uh, I had a lot of fun with the series in general and with aspects and portions that we played today. Gameplay is always really fucking good. I'm really looking forward to knowing your guys' thoughts on the game and the ending and if you disagree with me or agree with me. I want to hear it all as long as it's respectful and kind and uh, written in a nice way because I'm a really sensitive bitch. But I hope you guys had fun um, and until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys! <laughs>